Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a weary Sunday episode of Ted's Booze Cellar, the premier alcohol review show here on YouTube. Um, now I hope you guys enjoyed those couple of videos I did with Phil, uh, next time I see him I'm going to try and do one or two episodes with him as well, as me and him do like the weird and wonderful in the world of alcohol. So um, when I was round at Phil's, I might have shown it in one of the last two episodes, but Phil got me a very nice little late Christmas gift. My late Christmas gift to him was a really nice whiskey based uh, creme liqueur. Um, we were a bit knackered by that point to like review it last night, um, as of this recording. Um, but um, it was good. It was an Aran whiskey based creme liqueur. It was lovely. I really do recommend it if you can get a hand on it. Um, but today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different. And this is the late Christmas gift that Phil got me. Um, and this is. Uh, a chocolate selection by Anton Berg um, and they are a chocolatier who are by appointment to the Royal Danish Court and they have been around since 1884 uh, so you know they've been around to master at least a fair few things so um, just trying to see yep very very fine packaging um, Yep, I believe they are indeed Danish. Although well, I believe Phil might have gotten this when he was in Germany, actually. But, um, but yeah, no, this is a very old chocolate, very well specialised alternative chocolates. And the special thing about this variety box here is there's 14 little chocolate liqueurs in here. Now, the thing is, these are all miniature uh, hollowed out chocolate shells that are shaped like bottles. And each bottle is filled with a different branded uh um, spirit or liqueur so as you can see here you've got Jim Bean, uh, you've got Famous Grouse um, there are a couple of vodka brands there there's uh, Cointreau um, the vodka brands in particular you've got Sobieski um, you've also got Danska and there's one other there as well um, you've also got as well as um, as well as Famous Grouse and Jim Bean you've also got uh, Jambui, um, and then one that I'm going to definitely be reviewing sometime in the near future is Remy Martin, which is going to be very nice, I think. Um, now, today we're going to be taking a look at some of the two that I'm probably a little bit more familiar with myself. Um, we're going to be taking a look today at the famous grouse uh, little one, and we'll review another one as well, because otherwise the this episode would be a little bit short. Um, we'll review, uh, you know, we'll review the Sobieski vodka, you know, Scotland and Poland, side by side, but, um, the, uh, the chocolates in this alcohol do have a small amount of, um, the chocolates in this alcohol box do have a small amount of alcohol in them, obviously, so do be careful if you do eat them. Um, so I will say the packaging on this box is really lovely. Um, it's a little bit worn, but even still, I would say it's a good, solid uh, 9 out of 10. It's really classy, simple, nice contrast of gold writing against the black background. Very good stuff indeed. And I really like how much they've managed to resemble the packaging of the full-size bottles of these spirits. Um, so I will say... I would have liked the uh, the bottles to like look a little bit more like the actual real life bottles of these spirits, but this is nice, cute design, and I do really like it. So I'll give the design the smaller bottles themselves um, a good solid eight to nine out of ten. I really like the effort, and I really like the creativity here. Um, I can't really do a smell test this time round, as I'm sure you guys will appreciate, uh, because Phil basically said the way you're meant to have this either you eat it whole like a psycho. Or you bite the top off and then you drink the alcohol down and then you eat the rest. So I think. Hmm, I'm trying to think which one we'll do first because the reason why I picked these two is because whis Scotch whiskey and like uh, Polish vodka are pretty good to get your head around. But um, uh, let's go for the vodka first, I think. It's, um, it's a funny old thing because obviously I've done food reviews on this channel in the past which I do plan on doing more of in the future, but um, I've never obviously done a food and alcohol review in the same video. So, uh, yeah, Sobieski vodka. 
So, we'll have ourselves a quick palate cleanser of water first. And then, to everyone watching at home, I hope you have a good weekend. And bottoms up. I know some people have a bit of a misgiving about some Polish vodka because it is really strong, but um, that's quite a smooth one. And what helps to take the edge off a little bit more is the chocolate as well. It kind of um, it feels almost like a vodka based chocolate syrup inside there. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Mm. There's decent chocolate as well. Um, I believe it's somewhere in the region of 50% cocoa. So it's like milk chocolate. But um, mm. it's got just the right level of sweetness because my problem with a lot of like milk chocolate is that it tends to be really overly sweet. And so that kind of puts me off a little bit. But that was just the right level of sweetness to not overpower your senses. But just enough to curtail some of the acidity and uh, more heartburny aspects of the uh, vodka. So that was really nice. I wish the vodka taste was a little bit stronger because I am into my vodka, as it were. But um, as it was, that was really good. I really liked that. Um, I'll give that... I think the chocolate does really raise it up, so I'll give that a good 8 out of 10, I think. The vodka flavour could have been done with being a little bit stronger, and, and I think dark chocolate would have been gone, gone a little bit better with it, but 8 out of 10, that is really, really nice. So I have ourselves a good palate cleanser of water before we go on to the whiskey. I believe... It's not full strength versions of these vodkas either, or they might be like somewhat diluted, so that might offset some of the alcoholic flavour as well. I mean, it could be milk chocolate, but I think it also could be dark chocolate as well by the looks of it. I might have misread the packaging, so do correct me in the comment section down below if I'm talking out of my arse again. Oh, right, let's see. And then... Onto the most important part of the video again. So to everyone again, once at home, watching at home, bottoms up. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, the famous ghost is definitely a bit stronger. Mm. It's even got enough strength in it to have that warming of the cockles of your heart feeling. Mm. Mm. That is good though. Mm. Mm. I really like that. That's really nice. Mm. Mm. I've given the same criticisms. I think like the alcohol could be a little bit stronger. But I think chocolate and whiskey complement each other so naturally that I think I'm willing to give that a bit of a higher rating. Especially because with that flavour of chocolate and um, Famous Grouse perhaps not being the most fiery of scotches out there, I feel that those two aspects of it complement each other really nicely. So I'll give that a 9 out of 10. That's really solid stuff. Mm. That's really nice. Well... Um, I'm really looking forward to trying the rest of these and to Phil, uh, who's watching at home, uh, very much thank you for this gift. This is very generous and kind, and I will be looking forward to trying the rest of these little suckers. But if you guys have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Brew Cellar, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any desire to watch anything else I do, I'll leave the links to all my, video all my um, other social media platforms in the video description and if you like this video leave a like share and subscribe if uh, you want to stick around for the meantime though 
until next time, stay safe, have fun with what you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, keep safe, know your limits, drink responsibly, and I'll see you guys next time at the bar on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.